with uh, citizenship. Let's look at citizenship. Now, uh, citizenship, uh, also known as nationality, refers to the relationship, the relationship between the relationship between a person, the relationship between a person and a state. And this is one of membership. This is the relationship of belonging. So that if a person belongs to a particular state, then we say that person is a citizen. That person is a citizen or a national. They are a citizen or a national of that particular state. So this relationship creates certain rights and obligations on the parties such that as far as the citizen towards the state is concerned, they will be dutiful in obedience of the laws of that particular country and the state towards the citizen, they will provide certain, um, uh, certain rights such as uh, uh, documentation, document of identification. Uh, they will provide certain... Um, amenities to, to, to the particular citizen. So we will look at the Kenyan, uh, eg, uh, the Kenyan example where we are looking at how to acquire citizenship in Kenya. We are in this matter guided by the Constitution of Kenya, provisions on citizenship, and the Immigration and Citizenship Act, uh, provisions on citizenship in Kenya. Now, the Constitution and the Immigration and Citizenship Act recognize two ways of acquiring Kenyan citizenship. Acquisition, acquisition of citizenship. Acquisition, acquisition, acquisition of citizenship. The first method by which you could become a Kenyan is by birth. Citizenship by birth will be acquired by all persons born persons born in Kenya, any person born in Kenya, by a Kenyan parent, any person born in Kenya by a Kenyan parent. So if you happen to have been in bo born in Kenya, whether where your father or your mother or both of them are citizens of Kenya, then that automatically guarantees you citizenship, uh, Kenyan citizenship by birth. It also extends to persons born outside Kenya, born outside Kenya, persons born outside Kenya, where either parent, where either parent is Kenyan, where either parent is Kenyan. So you may have been born in another country, say Uganda or Tanzania, and either parent, that is if the father or the mother, happen to be Kenyan citizens, then that gives you or grants you Kenyan citizenship by birth. The second possibility by which you could also be acquiring Kenyan citizenship is by registration. Registration. You could register to be a Kenyan citizen. Now, there are two categories of persons here who qualify for registration. That is persons who want to register as citizens by virtue of marriage and persons who want to register as Kenyan citizens by virtue of lawful residence in Kenya. Now, if you look at the, citizenship, the Immigration and Citizenship Act, it will specify various conditions that these foreigners who have been married to Kenyans and wish to register as Kenyans must be meeting in order to acquire citizenship uh, by registration. And these foreigners who have been lawfully resident in Kenya or again, we'll have certain set conditions that they must be meeting before they acquire Kenyan citizenship by uh, registration. For instance, relating applicants who are applying for citizenship on the basis that they are married to Kenyan nationals, it is a requirement that they must not be, must not be prohibited. They must not be prohibited, must not be prohibited immigrants. that they are not of a category of persons who have been prohibited uh, from immigrating into Kenya. And it should be the case that the marriage, uh, the marriage 
was not the marriage was not for the purpose the marriage was not for the purpose of acquiring the marriage was not for the purpose of acquiring citizenship the marriage was not for the purpose of acquiring citizenship so this if the marriage was the, for the purposes of acquiring citizenship then it would be seen as a misuse an abuse of this provision that it should be your aspirations to acquire a kenyan citizenship came marriage came before the aspirations of, of wanting to become a kenyan citizen then we have citizenship by registration available to persons who are lawfully resident in Kenya. There is a requirement on them to have been lawfully resident. They should have been lawfully resident in Kenya for at least for at least seven years uh, preceding the application to be citizens. We will also require them not to have been convicted. They are required not to have been convicted or uh, and or sentenced, convicted and sentenced, not to be have been convicted and sentenced to more than three years imprisonment, more than three years imprisonment. That is during their seven-year stay uh, within Kenya. Then it is also required on them to have been continuously continuously resident continuously resident in Kenya continuously resident in Kenya for the 12 months for the 12 months that is a period of one year preceding for 12 months preceding the application for the 12 months preceding the application so these two category of foreigners foreigners married by kenya nationals and foreigners who have been lawfully resident in kenya if they meet these conditions as prescribed by the immigration and citizenship act then they do qualify to apply to become citizens of kenya by a registration now it must be noted that citizenship acquired by birth cannot be lost persons who become kenyan citizens cannot lose kenyan citizenship those who acquire kenyan citizenship by birth cannot lose their citizenship status thank you for watching this video don't forget to get yourself a copy of our professionally prepared study text and revision partners visit our shop along tomboya street pioneer house third floor opposite fire station